Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Kirsten with Emerge Orthopedics, and I'm a shoulder, knee, and sports medicine specialist. Just wanted to talk a little bit about shoulder arthroplasty or shoulder joint replacement and some of the new technologies we have at our fingertips. So one of the technologies we use is a, a preoperative templating type of system. So what we're allowed to do is get a special imaging study for the patient, um, a CT of their shoulder, and then the company is able to give us a model of the patient's shoulder and it shows the bone loss and the different deformities they have which then allows me to go in and manipulate and put in the specific implants we're going to use at the time of surgery so this patient has a pretty significant deformity you know almost 20 degrees of bone loss um, in posteriorly and about 12 degrees of bone loss superiorly so again this software allows me to kind of manipulate things place this glenosphere implant in specific um, the base plate in specific locations it allows me to measure out the screw lengths all in advance so then at the time of surgery it cuts down on surgical time um, cuts down on the time patient needs to be in anesthesia it allows us to kind of have a good idea of what implants are going to be necessary which makes the case go smoother and again is going to improve our outcomes long term you know it, it's pretty interesting it gives us a normal you know, here's the patient's normal anatomy and allows us to make some calculations um, with center of rotation based on how we're going to adjust the patient's center of rotation with the new um, implant the other cool thing we're allowed to get is sometimes we can actually get 3d models of that patient's shoulder so this is an actual patient's glenoid so the shoulder socket and it, again it's a 3d printed model that we can use intraoperatively for some cases in terms of, you know, sometimes we have to build up a bone block or take bone grafts or things into the shoulder um, to craft into that location and allows us to create that. And these are sterilized and used. And then after the case, the patient can have them if they want a memento. Um, similarly, we've got, you know, in cases of really bad bone loss, this patient had had, you know, you can see there that that sockets missing almost half the bone stock so the company was actually able to create a base plate that was custom to her shoulder so that this plastic piece is what we had metal wise then we used at the time of surgery so again it allows us to do things in advance we have a custom implant that fits and then the goal is to minimize the chance of a revision later um, and improve the outcomes for them um, as well so Again, that's just one of the cool things we've been doing here for a couple of years with shoulder arthroplasty and uh, look forward to seeing patients and talking to them about these options.